Have we lost another free DAW? Kind of. There's some big changes coming to SoundBridge, so let's find out about those, but will SoundBridge still be free? And the answer is there will be a free version of SoundBridge, but there's going to be some limitations, which we'll look at in a second. Also, the Ritmix drum machine and the Record Arpeggiator will no longer be free, except for 30-day free trials. So in this new free version of the SoundBridge DAW, you're going to have a limitation of just 10 tracks. So if you're somebody who doesn't use more than 10 tracks, then you can continue to use it the way you normally do. And so far, it looks like the 10 track limitation is the only limitation in this new free version of the SoundBridge DAW. Now, what if you have existing projects that have more than 10 tracks and you wanna to continue to use the free version, will you be able to open those projects? And the answer is yes. You can open those older projects that have more than 10 tracks, but you're not going to be able to save any changes that you make with it. And the idea here is so you can export your stems and your audio in order to work on it in another DAW if you should choose to leave SoundBridge or just so you can open up those projects and see what they were. But for hardcore users of SoundBridge right now and future users of SoundBridge, I think a paid version will be a good thing. And here's why, because now that you're going to start to generate some money and getting some money behind this program, you can really start to work on it and make things even better. And when they launch the paid version, it is going to be a more updated version than what you have right now. So already that's a good thing, but I think the more money they start to get behind them, the bigger and better that the SoundBridge DAW will become. And now that brings us to pricing. What's it going to cost for this paid version of SoundBridge? And there's a few different ways you can go about this. So if you like lifetime perpetual licenses, you can purchase a lifetime license for the version that you purchase. So if you purchase SoundBridge 3.0, then you're going to have a lifetime license to SoundBridge 3 and any major updates that come out within two years of your purchase. So if they update to four or five within the two years of your purchase, you can upgrade to those versions and you're going to have lifetime access to that. Now the price for this will be $180. Now after you initially spend that $180, if after the two years are up and you still want to continue with that update plan, it's only going to be $80 for every two years after that. And also to note about this lifetime license is that Ritmix drum machine does not come with it. That's an extra $140 for the Ritmix drum machine. And if you like the record arpeggiator, that's another $90 on top of it. And those don't come with the lifetime license. Now, if $180 is a little too much to shell out right now, there are a couple of other ways that you can go about this and you may not like them because it's through subscription. You can do a monthly subscription for just $10 a month. And this also includes the Ritmix drum machine and the Record Arpeggiator. So you get all three programs for $10 a month, or if you prefer, you can do it annually at $100 per year. So you're saving a couple of months if you go annually and you get those Ritmix and Record programs with it. So there is a little more incentive to maybe do the subscription if you like those two programs. Is SoundBridge going to lose a lot of users? Yes, of course they're going to lose a lot of users because a lot of people use that program because it's free and it's a great program for free. But if you look at this through their business plan, losing all of those users who never planned on paying anything for SoundBridge really isn't losing the company anything, maybe some fans, but that's about it. And the real hardcore SoundBridge fans who stick around and they pay the money and of course they're going to start to attract some new SoundBridge fans, those people are actually generating the company some money. So yes, they're losing some users, but they're not losing money because of losing those users. So what about existing users who currently have SoundBridge on their computer? Will that continue to work? It looks like no, because to use the program, you have to log in and that goes through their licensing servers and they're switching licensing servers altogether. So 
everybody's going to have to create a new SoundBridge account, and those old licenses are no longer going to work. And of course, these are all their initial plans before they've even launched this thing as a paid program. So things may change once they get a little data behind them. And it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with SoundBridge, not only at the release of their paid DAW, but in the future years, because I think it's going to grow and grow and grow and become one of those programs that a lot of people use. And if you are looking for a free alternative to SoundBridge, that's unlimited, no restrictions. Click the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.